Hello, grade sixes. Uh, today you will be working on prime and composite numbers. So we're going to look at that same outcome we did the other day. Demonstrate understanding of factors this time, concretely, pictorially, and symbolically, including determining factors and multiples of numbers less than 100. We're looking at factors today. Relating factors to multiplication and division, and determining and relating prime and composite numbers. What is a factor? A factor is a number that divides into another number exactly and without leaving a remainder. So for example, we have 6 divided by 2 here is 3. So 2 and 3 okay, are factors of the number 6. Okay? We could also go 6 divided by 3 is 2. So what I'm showing here is that these two are factors of the number 6. Okay, you can also look at it in another way, which is multiplying. Okay, and I like this method better. What numbers can we multiply together to get another number? Okay, so we have 2 and we have 3 are factors of 6. Okay, 2 times 3 is 6. Another factor of 6 would be 1 times 6. Okay, 1 times anything is going to be one of the factors. Okay, so those are a couple examples. All right, let's say we take the number 8. All right, and I want to know the factors. Okay, I could ask myself what divides into 8 equally. Okay, and I would get 1, I would get 8, I would get 2, and I would get 4. Okay, what multiplies to get 8? Well, 2 does, 2 times 4, right, and 1 times 8, all right? So, a couple ways of doing it. That's uh, totally up to you with what you guys want to do there. So, what we're looking at today is the difference between a composite and a prime number. Okay, a number with two factors or more is a composite number, so it has to have two or more. So, let's say the number... Uh, 8. Okay, we keep going to 8 here. The factors are 1 and 8. Okay, multiplying 1 times 8 equals 8 and 2 times 4 equals 8. So here we have four factors in total. So 8 is an example of a composite number. Okay, we have more than two factors. A prime number, okay, is 1 in itself are the only factors. It is a number with exactly two factors and it is a number greater than 1 that is divisible by 1 and itself. So let's look at the number 7. Okay, nothing else can divide into 7 besides 1 and 7. Okay, so these are my two factors. So 7 is an example of a prime number. All right, let's take 5. Okay, we're using the other strategy now. What multiplies to get 5? Well, 1 times 5, right? A decimal number could, but we're looking at whole numbers here. So 5 is another example of a prime number, okay? Let's take 23, all right? Well, we would think maybe 3 would go into 23, but it doesn't. It is not a multiple of 3. 1 times 23 are the only factors that can multiply to get 23. So an example here is we have 23 color tiles, and we can only make one rectangle with these, okay? As you see, we have one row, and we have 23 columns. So 1 times 23 equals 23. This is an example of a prime number, all right? Here we have the factors of 23 are 1 and 23. Okay, 1 in itself is a prime number, so therefore 23 is a prime number. Okay, one strategy you can use to show your work is color tiles. We can make four different rectangles with 24 tiles, okay? So here, all right, we have 24 has eight factors, all right? We have 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a couple ways of showing this, all right? I'm not going to do 1 times 24 or 2 times 12. I'm going to do 3 times 8 to start. What we're going to do is draw a rectangle, all right? Uh, we won't finish it, though. And then I'm going to draw some rows here. Okay, so I have 1, 2, 3 to show, okay? So I have 3 rows and I have 1 column here, okay? Then I'm going to put another there, and I'm going to go with my rows. Okay, this is 2. And I'm going to go here. This is 3. And I'm going to go here. That's 4. And I'm going to go here. This is 5th column. Okay, I'm going to go there. This is 6th column. And I'm going to go there. That's 7. And let's say right here, okay, is 8. All right. So what this shows you, okay, is we can do 3 times 8. And that's going to get 24 squares. We're going to count now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So here is an example using color tiles of 24 color tiles. We have three rows with eight columns. We get the number 24. Okay, another one, we'll do one more, is the four. So we're going to go like this. Okay, and I'm going to go one, two, three, and this will be four, all right? So here we have four boxes at the start with rows, okay? Now, four times six equals 24. So what I have to draw is six columns now. So I'm going to go one. So this is two, sorry. Okay. This is three. This is four. This is five. And this is six. So here, okay, I have six columns, all right, and I have four rows. So when I do my uh, multiplication, okay, I'm going to go four times six. We have four rows times six. As you'll see, how many color tiles do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So here's another example of how we can use color tiles to show factors. Okay. Of all these factors, all right, what I did was I looked at the ones that are prime, okay, and I found that two and two and three, okay, two and three are prime, all right. One times two equals two, and nothing else can, and one times three equals three, and nothing else can. Now, if we took the number six, okay, is it prime? Well, let's see. One times six equals six. Two times three equals six. So this is an example of a composite number. The, the easiest way, in my opinion, is multiplication facts. This is another way of finding out factors of a number. For example, if we were trying to find the factors of 40, we can use multiplication facts. So 40. Okay, we look at 40 here. What multiplies or what divides into 40? Well, 1 and 40 does, so 1 times 40. Okay, 2, we know multiplies by something to get 40. Okay, what go, well, how many times does 2 go into 40? Well, we know it's 20 times, okay? Next, we have 4, all right? Okay, 4 goes into 40 10 times, okay? Finally, we have 5. We know 5 goes into 40 8 times, okay? So I use multiplication facts to show my factors, okay? And 8 times 5, let's say, is the same as 5 times 8 in this case, okay? And so our factors remain just this, 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 and this, all right? So I have it at the bottom here. has 8 factors, 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and 40. Of those, okay, my prime numbers are 2 and they're 5, okay? The reason why is 1 times 5 equals 5, nothing else does. 1 times 2 equals 2, nothing else does. And the other numbers have factors. Okay, we have a strategy called arrays strategy. It's using dots or circles to show factors, and it's a lot like the tiles, but um, you use dots instead, but they're still rows and columns, okay? So, we have the factors of 18, and we have 1 times 18, so what I'm going to do is go like this, and I'm going to draw 1 row of 18 of these, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, all right? Next, we have two rows, so I'm going to go like this, 1, 2, okay? Now I'm going to do 9 on each row, 1, 2, sorry, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right. So we have nine in each. So it's two times nine equals eighteen right now. Okay. And one times eighteen equals eighteen. Finally, we can go three rows. So one, two, three. Okay. We have six in each now. Two, three, four, five and six. So here, okay, we have three and six in each, so three times six is 18. To count, all we would have to do is go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So of my numbers, okay, we have these factors down here, and I showed with my arrays, okay, I have one row here, eighteen there. I have two rows here, nine in each. Okay, I have three rows here, six in each. Of those numbers, sorry about this, 
2 and 3 are my prime numbers. On your assignments, you're going to have to list which ones are prime and which ones are composite at times. Oh, with all that, okay, remember, there are three ways. There's the color tiles, okay, so let's say we add this. This shows 1 times 4, okay. We have our arrays. This would show 2 times 4, which is 8, so we're showing that 2 and 4 are factors of 8, okay. Finally, we have multiplication facts. So let's say uh, 8 times 8, okay, is 64. So that this would be a factor of 64, all right? So you guys can rewatch the lesson if you want. Now you're going to have to do the assignments. The assignment, you have on page 61 and 62, you're going to do questions 1, A, C, F, J, okay? They're listing factors. Then you're going to do 2AB, 4AB, 6AB, 8, 9, 11, and 15. And 11 and 15, I believe, are word problems. Okay, So you have to actually apply what you learned and put it into a word problem now. Once you're finished, you can go to IXL or Cool Math Games until we correct. Best of luck, and thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great day and a great weekend since it's Friday.